In this video, we will solve the problem number 8.1 from the chapter number 8. So with this video, I am starting the chapter number 8. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The problem is, explain in words and write HDL statements for the operation specified by the following register transfer notation. Here we are given with some register transfer notation. Okay, so we have to explain in words. So here the explanation will be, here we have register transfer operations and arithmetic operation. They are executed concurrently. Here you can see this arithmetic operation and we have this register transfer operations. So these are the arrow means transfer operations. Okay, they occur at the same clock edge. These two operations will occur at the same time. The content of R2 that was stored before the clock occurs so previously we had r2 will have some value r1 will have some value so whatever previously we had in r2 that will be transferred into r1 with the occurrence of the clock pulse so here i have written the content of r2 that was stored before the clock edge occurs will be transferred to r1 with the occurrence of the clock edge okay that means whatever be the content of this r2 previously stored that will be transferred into R1 with the occurrence of the clock edge. That means before the clock edge, there will be some value in R2 and that will be transferred to R1 with the occurrence of the clock. At the same clock edge, the content of the register R2 will be incremented by 1. Because we have two concurrent statements, therefore the register content R2 that was previously, that will be incremented by 1 and this R2 value will be overwritten with the incremented value. So this is the first ex explanation. Next we have the second statement. Here we have to decrement R3 value that was previously whatever be the content of R3 that will be decremented by 1 and the decremented value will be stored in R3. So here I have written R3 value is decremented by 1 and the R3 content is overwritten with this decremented value. They occur concurrently. That means whatever be the content of R3 previously that will be decremented by 1 and the decremented value will be written into this R3 that means within the same register. Then we have this third statement. So if S1 equal to 1 that transfer the contents of the register R1 to R0. Okay, here we can see register content R1 is transferred into R0 when S1 equal to 1. And if S1 not equal to 1 and S2 equal to 1 then what will happen? The content of R2 will be transferred into R0. If S2 equal to 1 transfer the contents of the register R2 to register R0. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.